Welcome everybody to another episode of Joey's Garage. Today I'm going to be fixing the scooter and fixing the fuel gauge. So if you have that same problem, your gauge isn't working, it's jumping up and down sporadically, go ahead, stay tuned, and I'll show you how to fix it. Okay, so let me show you what the problem is. When I go to turn on the scooter, I should be able to see what um, fuel range I'm at, or how much fuel, pretty much. So when I do that, I come over here, and I turn it on, I get nothing. See? I, it lights up, I can tell that it's activated, I can tell a good battery, the fuel sensor is going, or the air fuel mixer. And I come down here and you can see I do have fuel, but it is not showing right there. So, what we got to do is just change out this fuel sensor right here. It's a very easy process, just you're going to take it off. You're going to have to take off the panel so you can get to the um, little, you know, fuel thing, or you know, wiring. And um, that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and take off these panels and I will show you the next step. Alright, so I got the plastic panels off. Next, we're going to have to find out where this wire goes. As you can see, it comes down here. It's been cable tied in. And it is going to be one of these. So we're going to have to very carefully start removing these cable ties. There we go. So now we should be able to find it. And it's right here. There we go. So we'll go ahead and remove this. And we are disconnected. So now from here, all we need to do is go ahead, get a uh, wrench, get this off, and pull it right out. So let me go ahead and do that. Stand by. So I got this loosened now, and I'm be able to pull it right off. And that's just going to pull, oh, and keep pulling, and it should come right over here, and then you can remove that metal piece. And then from here, just lift this straight up, and then there's the actual fuel thing. And then you see the little bobber or whatever it is, a float. You have to pull it and then twist. There you go. It'll come right out. And just make sure you remember how you pulled it out so you can put it in the exact same way. So if I turn the camera, this is going to be how it goes. Just hold it so it's straight. It's kind of, you know, angling down towards you. You put it in. Then you angle it down. And then you put it on. Just like that. There we go. See? So once again, pull straight out. Angle it. And you pull up. And it comes right out. So anybody doing this at home? Or are you don't, not sure? Just look exactly like that. It'll go in easy as pie. So you just pull that out. So we got that, put that aside, we have a, let's see, a gasket, and that's it, easy. So we put those three, and here's what came with the, the thing, um, the new one I ordered from Amazon, I got the same one, I got a new um, retainer, and a new um, gasket. So, let's go ahead and put these right back in. So just in reverse, we'll put this gasket, we have the retainer, and we have the new float. So, hold on. So as you saw, same thing, we went over this, float goes down, see it's straight and then it angles down towards your feet, just put it right back in. Swing it, and oh. if I can get in there one-handed, there we go. Easy. 
And from here, you can just stand by. We'll put on the retainer clip. If I can do it, sorry. Retainer clip. And then it will snap right down. I put it on backwards, but you get the idea. I'll have to fix that. But the one important thing I wanted to notice that um, on here, on the connector, it has a green, has a yellow, and it has a blue. Alright, and then there's the clip. But you might notice on here, on the connector that goes to the wiring harness, it has a blue, has a green, and a green. So you don't get scared. What you need to do to check it, if I can do it, is you put them just like this, just like it would plug in. It's the same type of plug, so we're already on good standing so far. We're going good. Do not worry. All right, so I plugged it in. So we look at it because it's this is going to how it's going to be plugged in. So we have a blue, and it's matching up with the blue on the wiring harness because this side is going to be on the actual the float or on the um, you know the gauge. And then here we have a yellow, and then that one goes to a green. But if you look closely, that's green and black. So we're good because this last one is a green ground and it goes up the green ground so this is gonna work do not worry so from here we can just plug it in and I will go ahead and before I plug that in flip that over and then we're gonna be done so hold on real quick let me flip that over let me get it plugged into a two hands and I'll be right back and now we are done the new um, float is in I made sure that gaskets on the bottom the um, little retainer clips on top I, the wiring has been secured with some um, zip ties not too tight not too loose just right they're a little wiggleable but you don't want them tight that they you know um, crush into each other and uh, maybe um, you know I don't know, break a break a wire is pretty much or cut into the wire so that is all nice and zip tied up looking JDM so we come back over here and if you're wondering how to take it off I'll see if I can do this one-handed it's very easy you don't put too much pressure on it just if I can get that see there we go all right and then you can just turn it turn turn ah, shoot. Hey. All right, we'll try these all right there you go see turn 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 and it will stop right at this lip right here is where it stops so very light pressure and that is it so now when we come over here we should be able to flip the key now and there we go it's reading fuel so that's all to it I'll go ahead and fill it up and test it out again make sure that it's reading full and I'm done so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like it subscribe think it was good you know put some comments all that kind of stuff blah 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 and just stay safe